Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Uh, today I got a great audio item I want to help bring to your attention. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, letting you know about the Microlab Chairman B77. Uh, this is a powered bookshelf speaker set. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it comes in a nice classic design of wood grain covered with fine leather. Um, and uh, each speaker has uh, speaker covers on them which are removable. Uh, simply pull on each corner a little bit so you don't break them and uh, then the speaker cover itself actually comes off and you see it's got the micro lab logo there on the bottom and then the actual speakers look like this uh, you got a, a big four inch uh, uh, bass speaker and then a uh, 0.75 um, inch uh, tweeter, uh, both able to deliver really good sound. Um, I played with these uh, with my cell phone, using them through the Bluetooth uh, 4.0, which uh, this is equipped with, uh, and then I also use the auxiliary audio cable on my television to actually uh, provide a real nice theater quality sound uh, to a particular movie that I was watching. Um, a little bit later, I'll do a little demo try to show you uh, how these sound, uh, try to hopefully show you how they sound because it is sometimes a little difficult to be able to convey uh, sound quality uh, from here to a video quality, um, but we'll try, try to do our best to um, try to convey that, um, you know, the good quality that these produce. Um, so this is the main speaker which has all the controls on it and um, as you see both of them in the back have the uh, airflow hole which helps uh, with the bass, helps really give you the really defined, um, you know, uh, um, thumps and, 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 and bass quality that uh, people are used to. So this right here is the uh, um, audio cable that goes from this speaker to the other uh, so that way uh, they're paired up and you have your stereo sound um, and then you have your power cable. Um, you have your on off switch. Uh, I'm actually going to turn this to on right now. Uh, and then you have your treble and bass no knob indicators. Uh, what's really nice about these is they have a mid range, um, I guess you'd call it a bump. Like you can feel when you're on the mid range uh, selection. So that way, uh, you know, if you have these on a bookshelf and you are trying to adjust them, you can feel by, by that mid range that you know approximately where you are to help adjust them to a desired level. Um, I personally like a lot of bass in my music. Music. Um, my, my wife and kids sometimes think I, I like a little bit too much, but I also like um, I like a wide variety of dubstep music too. So um, I mean, to each of their own. Uh, this is really great. I played it with some classical music. Um, the tweet the tweeter is really good for helping drive uh, really nice um, sounds, like especially with classical music. Um, like I said, I'll have a little sample a little bit later, and uh, hopefully it'll cover a real wide variety of um, different types of music so you can hear the quality. Um, when you do turn it on, on the front here, you got a little power indicator light. Uh, it's going to be the blue light when the Bluetooth is connected, and it's going to be a purple light when it's in standby mode. Um, as you see, there's also a volume indicator there. Um, I personally like to keep this pretty much all the way up and then control the volume from, uh, you know, my phone in this particular case. Uh, you can control it in whatever device. Uh, since it is um, compatible with Bluetooth 4.0, it's going to work with a wide variety of devices from tablets to uh, laptops, you know, many different cell phones. Um, I'm not aware if there's any TVs that have Bluetooth. Like I said, I hooked mine up with the audio cable that comes with it. Um, through the uh, through the jack and the uh, the little audio red and white cables. Here's what it looks like when it's plugged into the back of my TV. And here's what it looks like when it's sitting on my entertainment center. Uh, so that way, we, um, I think this is going to be the final rest in place for my my speakers. As uh, I think it looks really good, the classic looks goes really well with my entertainment set center, and it also works well with the size and dimension of my TV. So that way, I have the sound coming from either side, and it just it works well over overall. So uh, you can put these on bookshelves, entertainment centers, whatever. This is really great because I didn't need to go out and buy a sound bar. Uh, this works just as well. Actually, I think it probably works better because I can use my uh, cell phone to play music when I'm not watching TV or using it on a TV. The one thing to remember is you're going to have to disconnect your Bluetooth for it to be able to... Um, 
pick up the sound from your audio jack on your TV. So you're going to want to remember if you're not getting the sound right away, oh yeah, you got to turn the Bluetooth off on your device. So real quick, when you want to connect your speakers to your particular device, uh, you're going to want to perform a search. Um, you hit your search button on your, whatever your device and um, it's going to come up uh, as chairman. Let's see if I can show you that there. There you go. Comes up as chairman and then you're just going to select that. and then you'll be greeted with an auditory tone from the speakers to know that it's been connected. Uh, and simply when you're done and you don't want it connected to Bluetooth at any particular time, like say you're gonna be using it on your TV, um, you're just gonna wanna hit uh, to turn your uh, either your Bluetooth off or you're gonna wanna select the individual device and disconnect it. Uh, it's real simple, uh, the, 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 the procedure is pretty much the same for you know any, any mobile devices. Um, sometimes there's little nuances and stuff like that you gotta know where to get to. It's usually in your settings uh, or sound. Uh, mine has a Bluetooth selection all by itself. Uh, so hopefully that helps you uh, decide how to uh, you know connect your particular device. So without further ado, here's a sample of uh, a different variety of music. I have some uh, music on here that are uh, very similar to, um, you know, theater st style movies, you know, with dramatic music. Uh, there's some psychedelic music, there's some guitar riffs, um, and there's some string instrument riffs. Um, so check them out and uh, you can hopefully hear a wide variety of different types of music and how these particular speakers perform. There you go. So overall, I think these speakers here by Microlab really deliver and uh, perform very well. Uh, but don't just take my word for it. Check out the link in the description below. Uh, it'll give you all the all the uh, specs that you might be looking for. So that way you can look through you know the different uh, range that it, it, it covers and um, you know really find out if this item's right for you or not. You'll find that link in the description below. And as always, thank you for stopping by here today at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye bye.